Project Zomboid is a pretty cool game, featuring survivors attempting to do their best in the unforgiving hills of rural Kentucky after a zombie virus decimates the world. Signalis is also pretty cool. So what if we were to combine these two? Well, the answer to this question is what we are going to be covering in today's video, as I review the Zomboid Signalis mod, also known as Project Signalis. This mod for Project Zomboid was made by community member Swiftnicity, and features Signalis themed weapons, outfits, zombies, and UI. It's truly awesome, so with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So what does this mod add? Well, starting off, it adds several new weapons from Signalis into the game, ranging from the replica CZ pistol, the six-shot Einhorn revolver, Adler's rifle, the shotgun, which is a Spaz-12, and even the MP5, or the SMG, in-game. This new arsenal lets you fight the hordes as if you were just a replica sent out to do the nation's bidding, and they all work quite well at doing exactly that. On this train of thought, there is some other guns inspired by Signalis' universe. The cut machete is added in this mod, as is a crash axe, which is a custom design inspired by the universe, intended to be used by pilots of ships of the nation. Finally, a genuine replica sniper, as well as an imperial bullpup rifle. These weapons are much heavier, and while they don't appear in Signalis, they are based off of the aesthetic and universe of Signalis, and they are quite powerful weapons to cull the hordes with. Again, all these weapons are amazing. They are quite balanced while also giving you the firepower you'd expect of them, providing a solid addition to the game for players to increase their chances of survival with and play around in a Signalis S weapon types. However, this mod adds more than just these awesome new weapons. It also adds a large assortment of new outfits. Be it new custom outfits to let you dress up as any of your favorite replicas, or outfits to embody your role as a gestalt student or officer that loyally serves the nation. These combine with the weapons that let you truly be a replica in Kentucky. These new outfits will also spawn on enemies, giving you a chance to fight the corrupted replicas much like in Signalis proper. However, these outfits are also fairly decently armored and statted, so be careful when fighting replicas that are corrupted. The new outfit and weapons are amazing, but we aren't done yet. As heading over to this mod's sister mod, we can see the UI overhaul aspects of it. These aspects convert most of your UI to be Signalis themed, so much so that you may even find yourself being convinced that you're on the streets of Vignetia, as you do your best to avoid being decommissioned by the various Zs. If you're interested in this mod and would like to play with others, including myself, Unoff hosts an unofficial server for this mod. This server is quite awesome, and you may even find me and my friends goofing off on it as we try and fail to survive the hordes of corrupted replicas. If you'd like to join, simply join Unoff, which will be linked below, and navigate down to the Project Signalis text chats, and instructions on how to join can be found, as well as being able to just communicate with everyone about this mod and server. Swift, the mod creator, has set out some future plans which honestly sound awesome, ranging from vehicles, musical replacement, to even a full-blown new map. This mod has a great future ahead of it, and I'm excited to see it progress. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm a huge fan of this project and mod, and will be playing on the server a lot in the coming days. I hope some of you all will try it out, and maybe some of you all will even join the server yourself. Big props to Swift for such an amazing creation, and until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao!